Hi, my name is Noel Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our European Nightcrawlers that are in our Bus Boy Tote. Now, it's been 77 days since my last update on this system, which is a lot longer than I expected, but we're going to take a look. I did peek in beforehand. The worms, there's some worms by the top, so they are still alive. It hasn't dried out and killed everything in the system. But we are going to need to add some bedding, we're going to need to add some food, and we're going to have to see if we can get this system fully kind of going through again. Although it does look like maybe we can harvest, I'd rather still try to build up a little bit more material in here because it's pretty thin as it is. And I'm not sure, we might try something else with this system or maybe just dump it back in our, our uh, big urban worm bag we have. So that we don't have so many totes going right now. So with that, let's go take a look at the system, see how it's doing, and get some food in there. All right, here is our bin right now and as you can see right here we've got a date of 12 6 2022 and it is february 21st 2023 so 77 days and just so you know i don't know if you can see up here but like you can see right here this bin was started just over a year ago now so about a year and a month so it's been going for quite a while it's really sunk in with this you know since the last time we checked it i think i'm gonna flip this over real quick and see there is a good amount of castings built up around the inside as they've tried to go around looking for material. And actually there's some worms right over there. So you can see them right there, I think in the center, right by my finger, there's a couple worms in there. Not surprising, but overall, as you can see, this looks pretty decent. Um, you know, you've got this dry area over here and over there, but it's nice and moist in the middle, which is a good sign. And as I said, I did peek in there and I saw some worms, so Let's just kind of scoop this stuff away. Let's just see how this looks. The material looks really, really good. And as you can see, there are definitely worms in here. But wow, this material is phenomenal. And as you can see, you can see the uh, white flecks in there, I probably. That is actually the grit that we've been adding. So, but this just looks really, really good. You can see that there's worms. They look nice and small compared to what we normally see, but they do look fairly healthy. They're spread throughout here. They're probably just in search of food. Oh, one of my lights just died. Hopefully we can get by with just one light. But uh, you can see in here that they uh, they look pretty good. Actually, we got this one right here. This is a fairly large one. It's moving fairly well. It's running along there. It's a nice, healthy European night crawlers. Tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and get that other light on. Give me just a minute. We'll come back. There we go. We're back. Got both lights working. We got a little spider crawling around right here. But, I mean, this material just looks great. I mean, really, in some ways, I really like to just harvest this. This is really what you want. When you see a system that looks like this, this is the perfect time to harvest it. There's all these worms that right now can just run around. But for this time, we're, we're not going to. We're going to pile everything in one end and keep going with the system. As I said, I would really like to be a little bit higher. But this really does look good. This is what you're looking for with your castings. And this looks like it's nice and loose i mean it just flakes right apart worms they are still moving around like crazy in here so that's a good sign let me just scrape this corner clean definitely dry on the outside that's a little bit drier than you really want to see it no worms in that area not surprising you just see it's very very dry so let's go ahead and bury that in a little bit go ahead and take a look at this side over here see if there's anything see if there's any cocoons that you see too but you can see i just flipped this over and there's just worms all through this they're really searching Oh, our first baby piece of food in here. I thought I saw something. Yeah, right here we got a, looks like an avocado peel. Not surprising, those take a long time to break down. But there we go, that's our one piece of food that's left in here it looks like. It looks like we got a piece of plastic in here. Not sure where that's from, almost looks like a piece of uh, plastic of some sort. Unless it's maybe a seed casing or something. Maybe it's a seed. Maybe that's a piece of a seed or grass or something like that. I don't know. It looks shiny, but we'll leave it in there for now. You can just see it's over in the corners. It's way too dry to support worms, but the worms in here are doing really well. And actually, I'm really surprised by this because these are my European night crawlers. As I said, they're very tiny right in here. I mean, you can see, oops, baby worms right here, very tiny. And that's a little unusual for these worms. Normally they're much bigger but I think because of the lack of food, they're not growing. I'm not seeing many cocoons in here either, but you can see a quick population rebound in here. You can just see there's a whole bunch right here. Decent sized worms. 
But these are a lot smaller than you'd normally find. They look almost, almost more similar to my red worms. But you can see this system looks really, really good. Um, I think this was Cocoa Coir when we started it. I had to maybe look that up. But I mean, like this, this material just looks phenomenal. I mean, this would be great for, for sorting right now. This, this container is maybe just under halfway filled. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit more and just kind of keep the system going. Really, I, the castings are a side effect. Really, my whole reason for having these is to get rid of food scraps. And I have food scraps that are ready to go. In fact, actually, you know what? I don't even have to add paper. I was going to, but I think we're just going to bury the food scraps on this side over here. Um, and the reason why is that these food scraps are not frozen. Um, these are actual... Uh, I was going to add some bedding, but we can add some. We can add some other stuff. But this is actually stuff for my juicer. It's actually been sitting down here for a day or two. It's been starting to grow some mold on it. So let's just see if we can get that in there. Actually, you can see right there it's starting to grow mold. So we're just going to scrape this out of here. Just move it out. It actually smells a little bit too. It's a little wet. See, get get some moisture in there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bury that in there. And there's one other thing we're going to add to this system that I've been debating on adding to some of my systems, especially when they get like this. I've heard that this is a really good food for the worms. This is neem cake. So if, here we go, it focuses now. This is neem cake, and this is sort of like a gourmet food for the worms. It's supposed to prevent some things, but what I have found is that you can kind of sprinkle this in your systems, and this is gonna give the worms something to eat, but it's not going to jam up your system with a ton of food or bedding and things like that. So I'm gonna add a bunch of that in here on the ground. We're going to again go ahead and just sprinkle that in, mix it around on the top here. Now we will need to add a little bit of water in here. This is a little bit dry I think. But this is going to give them some food hopefully. That way they've got some things to latch onto, but it's not going to add a huge amount. If I was adding another food that was frozen I probably would, would skip and then probably go for the sorting method because this is really looking like great material ready to go. But I do want to, you know, use this food that I've got on here. Just trying to get everything off my gloves. And actually, we're, since we're going to add some water in here, let me grab my cup. We'll just pour that over the glove. I don't need to add a whole lot in here, but just kind of rinse off my gloves here. There we go. A little bit more. This water has that BTI mix in it. There we go, that's good I think. And we can go ahead and put our lid back on here, or our, not lid really, but it's a, uh, what's it called, the, the plastic over the top again. The bubble wrap, that's what I was looking for. And as you can see, I did not add any of the uh, crushed crab or eggshell this time. I do feel that, that they have sort of enough in there. You can see the eggshell in there. So with that, we're going to go ahead and move this back. And we're going to put our label on. We fed on this side over here. So that's our latest label right there. We'll peel this one off. We don't need that one on there anymore. As you can tell, all the food's gone from that feeding, so it doesn't really matter. And that's it for our update. So we're going to go ahead and put this back on the shelf. Hopefully come back a little bit sooner. I'm trying to, I'm trying to catch up. It's been very busy lately for me, but I am trying to catch up. If you're looking to purchase worms, though, there is a link down below for Memes Worms. It's a referral link or affiliate link. So if you wouldn't mind clicking on that if you're looking to buy some worms, that just gives me a little bit more funds to, to buy stuff down here and uh, play around with and, and show you guys some different things. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below.